Acting Metropolitan Superintendent Mazuk Rubian confirmed that a vacant land at Garden Hills, from which settlers were evicted in December 2021, is now occupied by individuals who pose a threat to the genuine residents in the area. Superintendent Rubiang stated, makeshift structures have been erected on the land and people are moving in large numbers to settle there. Rubiang stated, since the court identified the landowners who assisted in evicting the settlers, it is now the responsibility of the landowners to ensure that illegal settlers do not return. They must find ways to develop the land or prevent further settlement. The eviction of Garden Hill settlement had previously reduced law and order issues in Boroko, Waigani Central and surrounding communities. However, with illegal settlers returning, these problems are resurfacing. Rubian mentioned that other settlements in the city, such as Kipo, Two Mile Hills, Morata and new emerging settlements are also sources of daily complaints received by the police. He urged landowners with legal titles to seek assistance from the police in removing illegal settlers. Rubian expressed gratitude to his officers who responded to a report at Garden Hills where settlers vending on the roadside became intoxicated and disrupted the genuine residents by starting a fight. He urged the landowners to come forward to discuss the best approach to removing the settlers, stating if urgent actions are not taken, the numbers will grow, leading to more problems in the future. Gladys Killer, National MTV News.